Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I have the first part of Sniper Elite V2 remastered for you guys. Now you guys might remember, I played this game three years ago exactly on my channel, and it was the first Sniper Elite game that I did. And uh, this, I think, is a perfect time to do Sniper Elite V2 because I did Sniper Elite 3, um, 4, and 5, and a lot of you guys loved my um, playthroughs of it and just loved my sharpshooting in it. But um, anyways, what a lot of people don't know is that Sniper Elite 3, 4, and 5 are all prequels to Sniper Elite V2. Sniper Elite V2 is the final one chronologically. So Sniper Elite 3 took place in North Africa during World War II, 1942. Sniper Elite um, uh, 4 took place in Italy, um, 1943. Death Storm took place in um, uh, mostly Italy and Southern Germany, early 1944. Um, Sniper Elite 5 took place in France, um, uh, mid-1944, the Normandy landings. And then Sniper Elite 5 takes place in Berlin, 1945, April 1945. Takes, this takes place basically two weeks before Germany's complete collapse. And um, a lot of World War II games usually don't have this setting. They don't have the setting of um, the Battle of Berlin. A lot of World War II games don't do it. I know that um, the, a lot of the, some of the older Call of Duty games did it. Um, I know World at War is the most famous for the Battle of Berlin. But um, uh, in this, you're going to see the Battle of Berlin, and you're also going to see a lot of the um, Soviet and um, uh, German firefights in this. And I think Sniper Elite V2 personally has the best story in the entire series, and it's just a great game. So I'm going to have a lot of fun playing this for you guys, but basically, if you want to know how Carl's story ends, this is how Carl's story ends. So this is, takes place one year after Sniper Elite 5. So anyways, let's see what's going on here. New game. And most World War II games, like I said, they take place um, uh, they take place kind of like halfway through the war or near the end of the war. But very few World War II games take place at the very end of the war in um, uh, in uh, war in Europe. So let's take do this. Sniper Elite difficulty. That's the hardest Hitler's one. Hitler's war machine, once unstoppable, was now on the retreat. The Allies in the West and Russia in the East were squeezing the tattered remnants of the Reich in a vice-like grip. Germany's last hope lay in their wonder weapons. The V-2 rocket, a huge leap forward in the history of military technology. It was a weapon system to herald a new form of warfare. That and thing was very advanced for the time. The speed of sound, very scary weapon. Warning. The Nazis launched over 3,000 rockets in a desperate attempt to reverse history. That's what a V-2 does. It was a terror weapon. Bumbling Antwerp, Paris, and London. After the D-Day landings, their launch sites were overrun and pushed back out of range of England. But already, the Allies were looking to the future, to the next war. The Americans were gathering up the best of Germany's rocket scientists. This is this is all real, by the way. This really happened. Cast. Many of the architects of the V-2 program had already been acquired, but not all. With Berlin encircled, Germany's last ditch defense falling back block by block, and total defeat only days away, those scientists remaining in the city would soon be in Russian hands. My job was to make sure that didn't happen. So that's the intro to Sniper Lead V2. I like how they use real World War II footage. Eisenberg was negotiating in secret for safe passage for his team. Five of the V2 program's top men. He was meeting his Russian handler at the Brandenburg Gate. This was my chance to take him out before he could seal the deal. I was prepared, focused, confident. Little did I know it would turn out to be the most difficult mission I'd ever undertaken. So the guy who does Carl Fairburn's voice, he's done the same voice in Sniper Elite um, V2, 3, 4, and 5. Very underrated voice actor. He does a really good job of his voice. I love his voice um, in the Sniper Elite games. But um, anyways, the story's a little bit different in this one. It's very different than the other ones, so you guys don't get confused. Um, uh, because in the other ones, we're fighting mainly the Germans and some, sometimes the Italians in um, Sniper Elite 3 and 4, and then the Germans just in Sniper Elite 5. But uh, Sniper Elite V2, you're fighting the Germans, but you're also fighting the Soviets. And so um, 
early in the missions, you're going to be fighting the Germans only, but then later on, you're going to fight the Soviets. And the reason this is because Sniper Elite V2, even though this is a World War II game, it's more of a Cold War game. And I know the history of this pretty well, and so I'll talk about, like, the historical events as I'm playing through this. But um, basically, um, near the end of the war, like the intro said, that was all based on real events, is um, uh, both the U.S. and the Soviet Union were trying to um, uh, capture the uh, German rocket scientists. Um, and uh, just to the develop weapons and other technology for the Cold War. And what a lot of people don't know is a lot of um, German uh, scientists during World War II actually went on to form NASA in the U.S., the space agency. So a lot of people don't know that, that NASA actually has a pretty dark history in that regard. The so Soviets did capture some um, German scientists as well um, and had them build some weapons, but the U.S. captured the vast majority of the scientists because a lot of the scientists were fleeing to the West uh, because they wanted to surrender to the um, Western allies instead of to the Soviets. But um, anyways, let's do this here. Also, as you guys see, I have Carl Fairburn's um, outfit uh, for this uh, for this playthrough. Survey the buildings. Okay, got a little bit of a prologue here. Um, so his outfit. I wear the outfits of the characters whenever I play games, and so his outfit in the final part is kind of similar to Sniper Elite 4's outfit, but he has a green shimag, which I have um, on here also on his neck. So, so we're in Berlin. So this is like two weeks before um, Germany's collapse. The Soviets haven't entered the city yet. Okay, place a trip mine. Uh, okay, here we go. Ist eine Frau aus Berlin rausgekommen? Ich weiß es nicht. Nicht wesentliche Kommunikationen sind verboten. Was war das? During the Battle of Berlin, the vast majority of the German forces were actually the Volk. Volkssturm, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and they were basically civilians that were drafted into the German army, and a lot of these civilians, these were elderly people, some of these people were, um, uh, they were, um, some of them were sick people that, um, weren't drafted for the war earlier, and they even drafted kids, so a lot of Hitler youth actually ended up fighting in the, um, Battle of Berlin as well. Let's take this guy out right here. Use a landmine, booby trap the body. And the thing is, though, the vast majority of German soldiers at this time um, knew that the war was over. They knew they were going to lose, that uh, they had no chance. Um, uh, the only people that actually believed they could still win were the um, uh, SS scumbags and, like, the hard, uh, the fanatic, um, the people that were the most fanatical to the Nazi regime. The, peop the people that followed it basically till the very end. So this this general is one of the um, V2 rocket scientists. Von Eisenberg was punctual and made no effort to hide his ugly face. Neither did his Russian contact. That guy is most likely NKVD, which is the um, predecessor to the Soviet KGB. I had a clear shot. The slightest pressure on the trigger, and it was good night, Major General. Just a question of choosing my moment. So it's like I said, the story in the this one I think is the best shot, one. Um, so there's no wind to worry about. I had to aim one notch above the target to compensate for bullet drop. I controlled my breathing to steady my aim. And then... Okay, shoot. we're gonna get him right here in the head. This is gonna be a good shot. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Time to get out of here. Do like the soundtrack in this game, too. Mine went off. Oh, tiger. Get 
get out of there. There we go. Yeah, that's that's pretty effective just to blow them all up at once. And also, Sniper Elite V2 was pretty realistic in that when you're using like a gun like the Thompson, you can't find ammo for it um, uh, in Berlin in 1945. You can only find ammo for Soviet and German weapons, really, unless you find one of the crates. The crates can give you ammo, but you typically can't just loot. Okay. Let's see here. Got you. Aw, oh, he's lucky. Took cover right at the last second. Okay. And also, this game gets re really hard later on. Like, really hard. Now, this part is just crazy. Look at all the planes. Okay, wait for them to stop moving. Best time to start shooting, guys. Now, um, uh... In this, in this game, the, um, you actually see the effects of the bullets a lot of times, like, there's, like, really big marks on, on, like, wherever you hit them. Man, okay. Yeah, that, that guy in the building is, um, becoming a little bit of a problem. Okay, now we can focus on the guy in the building. Got you. There's still, there's still one more. Okay. Got all of them. Yeah, the, the war is gonna be over in just two weeks in Europe. I was committed now. Both the Russians and Germans would know I was in play. Four to go. So now we gotta get rid of the four other scientists. Let's continue. We'll do the next mission right away, because this this um this first mission's kind of short. Intel told me my next target was Dr. Gunter Kreidel, an expert in rocket engines. He was traveling across town in an armored convoy. We believed he was carrying documents that would lead me to the V2 production facility where the other three scientists were waiting. I'd identified a point on the route where I could lay a booby trap and stop the convoy. Naturally, the area was defended. I'd expect nothing less. Okay, here we go. Infiltrate the security checkpoint. Okay, I'm gonna try to get these guys in one shot here. Wait for it, just time it just right.
perfect. Two and one. Oh, we got a sniper. And he's dead. Now we're gonna have a sniper here. There's a lot of guys in the street, but there is gonna be a sniper also. Oh, I see him already too. I got the sniper, but there was no kill cam, okay. Oh, look at this. Nice. Come on, reload, reload, reload. This is the best spot in this area, so this game just is very hard, and it throws like a lot of stuff at you early on in the story. So this 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 is just the second mission of the game, and you know we're already running into problems. left. Oh, I hit him, but he's still going. Just one guy, and that's it. We're done. Okay, and I think, yeah. There's gonna be an MG42 in the building here. There we go. Clear. Let's move up. No. Someone tell me below um, in the comments if you can tell what planes those were, because you can see a lot of like British and American planes flying over um, the map in this game. Another one.
Now then this part, see if I can get two of them in one, one go here. It's a little hard to do it. Let's see, did it work? Did I get it right? Oh, I did. Beautiful, look at that. Headshot and a heart shot. And this guy, headshot too. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get down there. I used, I, I used to be really good back in the day on this game. I actually was number four in the uh, in the world on the leaderboard. I'm like number 25 now. Um, but yeah, I used, I used to be really good. I used to play this game back in 2012 all the time. I remember right when I was graduating high school, this game came out. And I would play it all the time. Sniper. Little, little bit of wind here. So health is a little, health is a little bit different in this game than in like the other Sniper Elite games. It's like Call of Duty health, like you gotta wait for it to regenerate. Got you. Compensated for the wind and the bullet drop there. Okay, moving up. Okay, let's plant those charges here. First charge planted. Okay. Now there's gonna be two guys in the restaurant, and there's gonna be like one guy, um... Out here, yeah. Okay. Get this guy off the road. There's more bodies there, but I don't think it affects anything um, when Dr. Crydle's convoy comes through. Now on this part, put a trip mine on this door. See that? Now we just wait.
Don't know how he survived that, but he's down now. Okay, now... Here we go, the big moment. Okay, let's get rid of uh, Dr. Crydle. Okay, this is gonna be good. Wait for it. Took out the, um, uh... Yeah, took out the 223 in the front. Love the soundtrack during this. Here we go, now it's on. Got him, my target is down. Now let's let's do this. Hang on a second here. Here we go. Boom. Not a good idea taking cover behind that truck. Wait till some of them stop. Boom. Oh no, I know this part. The tiger tank. It looked like it just ran that guy over. Okay. Got it. Now you guys are probably wondering, how the hell did you hit that? I'm compensating, um, and I'm looking- look at the little bars on the, um, on the scope, the crosshairs. I'm using those, and I'm seeing where the shot lands at a distance, and then I memorize how far the targets are. Kind of use my best judgment. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Whoa, 
little bit lower. Got him. Okay, let's see. Taking shots from where exactly here? Okay, there he is. A little bit to the left for a bullet drop. Is that it? I think we're clear. Ah, trying to hit the truck. Get a few more points in. Got it now. Well, we made a real mess of that convoy, didn't we? I believe there's more of them that pop up now, too. Okay, here's Cridal's body. Yep, I was right. More is coming. Should be in the clear now. There we go, beautiful run on that mission. Hope you guys are enjoying Sniper Elite V2. If you did like the other Sniper Elites, I think you'll really like this one. So um, I guess we'll leave it off here, guys. How You guys are probably wondering, how long is this game? Um, the missions are a bit shorter than in Sniper Elite 4 and 5, but there's more missions overall. I think there's like 12 missions in this game, but um, uh, uh, I might have like um, uh, two missions in like one part on certain parts. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.